as we get so close to the end of the Book of Mormon that we don't want to stop to eat because we can eat when we're done with this shit and then never have to read it again, one starts to wonder, what has it all been for? The laughter? The tears? The downright Herculean effort to be more anachronistic than a flat earther? Whatever the case, we're here to guide you through it all with Mormon Peace Theater. Last time on Mormon Peace Theater. Literally everyone died, remember? What the fuck else could one possibly write about in a book where all the characters are dead? He's got a point, Joe. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, wait, can we hear him? No, but we've only got a couple more of these, and Eli's getting, like, super meta. Oh, so. good, good. Anyway, he's right. Um, Everyone's dead, remember? Well, what about those other plates? Other... Other plates? Yeah, the ones that were found by the people of Limhi during the days of King Mosiah. The pizza bagel guy? God, I see what you mean by super meta. I am Ether, descendant of Coriander, son of Moron, son of Ether, um. <laughs> son of Aha, son of <laughs> wait, Seth. Wait, sorry. Moron is the name? Okay, so I was thinking we'd do like a, a little bit where... Moron has like the big southern accent and he like voted for Trump, y'all. Come on, that's so done. Yeah, but it's what people think of when they think moron, right? So when people think moron, they think of my wife's accent? Retracted. You're damn right retracted. <laughs> okay, like what about just a broad, you know, like duh, duh, duh kind of voice? Uh, that feels ableist. Really? Cool, yeah. Uh, hey, everybody. Kid fucking is worried about ableism, so we need to be okay. more sensitive about <laughs> what right. we say from now on. Oh, I'm sorry. How about we just call him Retardy the Retard then? A little yeah, theme song there. Guys, I'm guys, guys, no, no. I think there's a moron we can all get behind here. I am Cory Antimer. And I am his father, moron. I deem the Oxford comma unnecessary. The worst. You're the worst. Son of Kib, son of Oriha, son of Jared, who is the guy this story is actually about. Jared, you alone have pleased me here at the Tower of Babel, and thus I will not change your language. Wait, but you're still going to change everyone else's language? Yeah, uh, oh, fuck. Yeah, no, I guess that's not, uh, not super useful... For you. No, not... Not really. Yeah, no, okay, all right. So what I'm going to do is you and your family will keep their language. Wait, but like, everyone didn't get their own private language at the Tower of Babel, right? Like, they all speak the same language as some people. Isn't that how the story goes? I'm pretty sure that's yeah, you how know, the... Yeah, you know what, never mind. Just, just get your family and leave. You mean like everyone else did at the end of the story of the Tower of Babel? Yes. Okay, got my family together. Uh, anything else I need to grab before we head yes. out on the big... Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, you need to get a male and a female from each of your flock. Okay, uh, good thinking, actually. I probably need one Ooh. or two sheep. As also, uh, one of each kind of seed on Earth. Sorry, one of each kind of seed on Earth. Yep. Cool. Okay, great. Yeah, let's just set that right over there. And, um, hey, Alan? Uh, yeah, Jared. What's up? Are these, uh, the Kentucky bluegrass seeds or the lawn grass seeds? Uh, those are actually the perennial ryegrass seeds. Okay, so then they should be under L, right? Uh, well, no, I thought because, you know, perennial... No, no, we're going by genus, and the genus is lolium. Get your head in the game, man. Head in the game. Stupid. Million different types of seeds. I'm sorry, what? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. That's what I thought. And stop eating the sunflower seeds. Which one? All of them. All several thousand of them. Okay. God, I got, I got all the seeds. Great. And now you should grab some fish, too. Some fish for my walk through the desert. Yep, and one of each kind of bird on Earth. A male and a female, of course. Got it. Fish 
And birds. Dicks. Dicks and pussy birds. Got it. No problem. And bees. Don't forget, don't forget all the bees. Don't forget the bees. And so it came to pass that Jared and his family did load all the fish, seeds of earth, and male and female birds onto barges, which they rowed down rivers to the ocean? Seriously? That cannot be what it's... Uh, yeah, nope, that's what it fucking says. Hey, God, I hear you're mad at my brother, who we never name. Hmm. Oh. God, are you mad at my brother? I just, I just don't know why he never asks about me. I don't like the phone. Too soon. Okay, you're going to sail to the new world, but you'll need magic boats. Hey, uh, Joe? What? So, yeah, about the descriptions of the boats. Yeah, what about them? So, um, okay, light as a duck. Obviously, right. Uh Uh-huh. Uh, long as a tree. Clearly. Right. And then, then you got a bunch of descriptions of it being as tight as... Mary Henderson's ass and mm-hmm. like a bunch, oh, like a bunch. Yes, of that. I do. Okay, Woo. yeah. Uh, I was just thinking maybe we could use um, any other description of tightness instead. Really? Because that's tight. Um, fine. How about tight as a dish? Dish tight. Tight as a dish? Yeah, it's, it's that or it's Mary Henderson's ass. Take your pick. Okay, tight as a dish it is. Tight as a dish. They'll get it. Hey, uh, God? Oh my God, what now? Okay, well, we loaded up the boats with all the stuff. All right, are they, are they tight as a dish? Sure, but there's no air or light in there. And I was just wondering... Oh, yes, right. Do do humans still need air? Yeah, yeah, despite what Republicans will tell you, humans still need air. Okay, all right. Well, then, um... uh, Poke a hole in it. In the... In the boat? Yeah, I mean, what do you want, windows? Yeah. That would be stupid. This, This conversation actually happens in the book. It really does. Just like this. This is not going to work. Listen, dude, just follow my lead. (sighs) All right, fine. Oh, man, these rocks sure are cool, Jared's brother. I bet God could never make these glow-in-the-dark, Jared's brother. Yeah, never, never be able to do that. I'll show you. See? Glow-in-the-dark rocks. Boom. Okay. I still think we should have gone with blowjob rocks. Lou, 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 just looking for some mouth-shaped rocks. Hey, Jared's brother. Oh, hey, Jesus. What's up? Hey, just you and me all alone, huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I was just, uh... So tell me, uh, you want to see my finger? Um, I... I don't... I don't really, no. Come on, it's just my finger, and I'm like, God, nobody's gonna know, and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I saw God's finger. It'll be cool. Okay, okay, okay. sure. Ooh, finger. there's my finger. You wanna see some other parts of me? Hi there, Moroni here. Um, you'd think this book would have a lot more about Jesus revealing his true form, but it doesn't. Uh, and it has nothing to do with the fact that we don't want Jesus to get kicked out of Hollywood. It's just not in the book. Okay, well, don't tell anyone about any of that or I'll send you to hell. Okay, how am I going to write the book then? Oh, right. There's the book, the plates. Uh, you can tell them in code. You want to see my finger again? No. No. Boo. You're no fun. Also, Joe, it's Moroni again. Hi, uh, I'm Moroni, not you. Want to remember, uh, pick up eggs from the store. Mary Henderson's working today, and she is just... (coughs) Sorry, right. And so it was that Jared and his family did load all that shit from before into their wooden submarines and sail the submarines for 344 days in the near-complete darkness. Okay, my turn. Uh, I spy with my little eye something green. Is it the rock again? The rock again? Yes. 
until they arrived in the new world and did propagate the land with their people. Oh boy, all that being cooped up in a boat for almost a year with my own shit sure did make me horny. I'm ready to have some babies. Plus with that rock just staring at you the whole time, right? Dude, You're... you got a you got a rock thing. You've got a rock thing. My children, gather around, for I am old and we must count our people. Boring. No. Oh, okay. Um, then we must choose who will be king when I am gone. Not it. Call oh, it. Oh, fuck. There you go. Orihor's king. Sucks to suck. Damn it. And then there's just like 20 pages of king kidnapping. Uh, right? Yeah, I have no idea how we're going to make that entertaining. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of drama filled. Maybe we could do it like, you know, like as a fake soap opera. Ooh, or is like an action movie or romantic comedy or this week on the Mormon and the Restless so Corihor it turns out that you're evil and you've kidnapped the king my son yes I have but you should know that while he was in prison he had a son. It's true. I'm Kib Sung Shul, and I'm here to free my father. But I've been hiding a secret. Your son is about to kidnap my son. Okay, okay, my turn. You answer him? Who's asking? I hear you were the crackest shot with an anachronistic steel sword this side of the Mississippi or whatever river we're supposed to be near. Okay, well, I don't, uh, I don't do that anymore. Part of that life anymore. It's Jared, Esram. He's kidnapped your father and taken his kingdom. That son of a bitch. Looks like I'm about to kick some ass. Ooh, ooh, me, me. He was a usurper who had lost it all. I'm a usurper who lost it all. And she was a daughter who just wanted to get ahead. I'll marry a kish if he brings me the head of the king. The only thing they didn't count on was love. <laughs> We're both eating ice cream. You met my character actor grandmother. This summer... Ether or Hi, Moroni again. Uh, just wanted to take a second to say anyone who makes a secret alliance is a big old piece of shit. Fucking dick ballers, all of them with their secret handshakes and their, their dick noses and their fucking... Hey, uh, Joe, if you want to come to poker night... Hey, can, hey, um... Excuse me, I'm busy dictating the word of God here. Thank you. I'm just saying, Jared, we can, like, stab him in the neck. I know, daughter of Jared, but I don't want to get my clothes all dirty when we Guys, murder Guys, I Ori am Hart. right here. Quiet, I'm... we're talking. Rude. Okay, I'm, I'm going to leave. And leave he did, but then he got killed by a kish who became king until someone killed him, who then became king until somebody killed him. And that happened a couple more times until God liked the king. Okay, I like you, and I will uncurse the land. Wait, was the land cursed? I don't remember you cursing the land. Oh, who the hell can even keep track? Either way, you're good now. Cool. Glad we're good. And there was much flourishing in the land. The people had elephants and heffalumps and woozles and all those bears from the Golden Compass. Oh, really? Yeah, why the fuck not? But then... Along came evil King Heth. Hi, uh, it's, it's Heath, actually. And he did spite the prophets. Oh, okay, well, spite seems strong. I mean, I made a podcast about him. And he did spite the prophets so much that God cursed the land and sent poisonous serpents among the people. Uh, it's venomous. Okay, you know, I'm trying to do a thing. You can go fuck yourself. Yeah, I will. Uh, Miss Sanders, Miss Sanders, what do you say about King Heth's recent tweet that, quote, there are no snakes here, even though I'd like one, so snakes aren't real, end quote. 
I think it's important that we take these words in context. And uh, I'm sorry, is, uh, do you have any comments on Michael Wolf's new book, uh, Heth Caused All the Snakes? Uh, yeah, it was very mean to, to write down the things we said. You look young now. Jesus, and then there are two more kidnappings. Anime. Porn. Fine. Aha! I am your villainous rival. I have kidnapped the king and put him in prison. Aha! I am the king's son, and I have unleashed my ultimate form to defeat you. Well, then I will unleash my ultimate form. Ah! Oh, King Heathum. You've been cooped up in this prison cell for four generations. I sure have, combed my son. And after watching you give that beating to King Amnigad, there's only one thing on my mind. Mine too. Wait, is this a father-son gay porn? Not everyone watches your boring-ass straight people porn, Heath. I am Ether, the guy this book is named after, and I am here to tell you you all suck. Seriously? Boo! Okay, well, you know what? God's going to stick snakes on you guys, and I'm going to hide. Man, sure is bad nowadays. Tell me about it. The thing with the hammer? That's the yeah. worst. Yeah, you want to have a giant war between everyone? Like, literally everyone? Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Let's, let's do it. Wow, what a battle. Woo, I know, right? Like... Like, literally everyone on the continent is dead except for 188, 189, 190 people. That's it. Wow. That's, that's amazing. Right? How many people. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, same time tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Great. Great. Okay. So, literally, uh, just, just you and me left. Yep, just you and me, the last two people on yeah. the continent. Yeah. Uh okay. You want to uh you wanna fuck? murder each other? Mur uh, murder um, murder each other? Exactly. What what did you say? Murder each other. Uh-huh, me too. You wanna do that? Sure. Okay, guys, it's me, Ether. I'm back. I forgive you all for not believing me. And they're all dead. Well, I guess I'm going to eat everyone's food. Anybody mind? Any of you mind? No? Cool. Ether's food. Yum. And with literally everyone on the continent dead, this part of the story comes to a close, but we'll pick up the pieces of this brittle storyline one more time next month for the final installment of Mormon Peace Theater. Theater.